So we're just going to finish off the uh, other side of the lining. Brill. Now, again, I'm using pink. You'll use white, won't you? Because you're very good little sewers and I'm a very naughty teacher. Okay, so press those seams open on both pieces. So you want a nice flat shoulder. I'm just going to finger press mine because I want to move on to the next part of the tutorial for you, which is trimming the ooh, trimming the neckline. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to have a sandwich of uh, seersucker. We have a sandwich of seersucker then our trim, then our lining, and start from the centre back. So not the sheared part. We're actually going to start from the centre back here. Now what I'm actually going to do is... Oh, I need to come around the other way. I had it right the first time. What I'm actually going to do is fold that over so that when it sticks up, it will be on the underside, so like that. Yeah. I can't decide actually. Well, I'll tell you what you do. Do a little double roll and then it doesn't matter. The cheat of it, the cheek of it. Now I'm actually going to put this on first because we've got a couple of uh, corners to go around. So if we take this as our guide and we're just going to go around this edge with our um, embroidery tape. Just so they meet each other because we're going to have to do some quite valiant um, shaping when we get to the corners right when you get to the corner pop your needle down lift the foot up and come down this side here which is the inside shoulder as it were inside neckline and then you want to stop again. Now this is our sheared part, so this is going to have to be pulled ever so gently open. You want to pull the fabric open so that you've got the whole length of the material there. But what you don't want to do is do it so stretch it so much that you've actually warped the seersucker as well. And because it's not cut on the bias, it should be quite strong across that weft there. Even so, take some care over that bit. Take care to open those seams up too. So we're coming back around to where we started. It's always good to get there. And all I'm going to do is trim way all the way over there. Try that, that might be better. My fat fingers are hiding all the work. We're going to roll that again, plop it up next to that one. And just carry on over. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, now that that's sort of temporarily in position. Well, I'd actually, I suppose it's not very temporary at all. It could come out quite easily uh it why well, it won't come out rather um very easily we're actually going to put our lining on top so we want the right sides together of our lining here we are which is the front that's the front wider one is the front so there we go just like that and all we're going to do is match up those side seams there 
I'm going to put a pin in, pins, clips, whatever your preference is. I'm going to go around the back. There we are, there's our seam the other side. Yep. Pop a pin in there. Then we've got our corner. And we go all the way across the front. And you're going to have to stretch the front again. Remember, we're not stretching the material. We're just stretching out the shearing so that we can get everything nice and level. Put a few more pins in this bit. I just realised I'm actually putting the pins on the underside. Never mind. To take them out as I go. <clears throat> Into our corner again. I'm just going to check that in actual fact our broderie is out there, out the back like. Pin on the floor. I always drop something. It wouldn't be a dolly tutorial if I didn't drop everything on the floor, would it? And then just to make sure we're off on the right page, we're off on the right start. <coughs> make sure the back fits. Now we're gonna sew this, but we're gonna go a bit wider than our pink line underneath so that our pink line where we put the temporary stitches in for the lace when we attached it is inside that seam allowance. So let's have a go at that. So there's very faintly you can see my pink line underneath. Starting at the back, taking the pins out as you go. You should always stop with your needle down. I obviously cannot uh, stitch what I preach. Right, so here's a tricky bit. Let's come in close with this because we've got a right angle in here. Okay. Oh, finger shot, sorry. Lock the focus on the needle. Right. So we actually want quite a sharp right angle here. So we're going to come down to there. I'm going to stop. <coughs> Needle down, foot up, turn the work. Carry on. see where it's happening again here. <coughs> I'm going to put our needle down <coughs> and come up this side. Amazing. So again, take the work out of the machine. And what we're going to do is we need to cut all of these daddy long legs is off. Don't ask me how I got so many. I don't know the answer. Right, and then what we're going to do is where our front corner is, we're going to snip through all three layers into the corner and we're going to turn it round and we're going to do it the other side too. Now 
then what we're going to do is we're going to trim the seam allowance away with our pinking shears to make it more manageable and sit better take out some of that bulk and it will get a bit fiddly around the shearing so just be careful what you're cutting make sure you're only cutting through the fabric the lining and the tape that holds the broderie on glaze there's our corner you can feel yeah see feel the lining drifting up there that could be quite easy to catch in the shears so worth a quick check and go and, and actually that's quite a lot of stuff to take out of the seam so for a good effect I promise so let's turn this the right way out oh look oh it's so sweet right now what you want to do that's one is tuck the lining in all the way around and then we've got if I just fiddle these bits into position we've got our armhole there our shoulder our side seams so let's just peg all of that together to hold it and these are so useful these clips and then the other side we have exactly the same gather all those up and pop them in so there is our wonderful neckline and our lined bodice with our shearing all ready to go isn't that pretty I love it so now we're really coming together you can see where the arms are going to go ding dong and then we've got our beautiful circle skirt around the bottom so we're almost there with the dress mm -hmm.